So I just heard the UPS truck roll up and I think they left something at my door. So let's go see what it is. sit-stand desk from Motion Gray. Thanks to the folks over at Motion Gray who sent me the standing desk. Just before the video starts, I wanna make it clear that I'm not getting paid to do this review, nor am I sponsored by Motion Gray. Motion Gray was just kind enough to send me the desk so I could make a review on it. Let's get to unboxing this thing. these later. All the screws and stuff that you need. A bag with the controller in it so you can adjust your height and your presets. And then we've got all these metal pieces in here. This looks like a leg. And these are the feet. We also have this tabletop here. It is the black wood grain one, I believe. I'm actually not gonna use that top with this desk setup. If you haven't seen my other desk setup, I have this custom desk from Ikea. It has the Alex drawers right now, but I have the Oak Carlby desktop, which I actually stained an early American color. And then I have this pullout tray, which usually has my uh, keyboard on, my 61 key Arturia Key Lab Mark II sits on here. Uh, it's not there right now because I have a couple gigs coming up. This one is gonna have a home. I will find a place for you, don't worry, but right now it's not in this setup. I guess it's time to figure out how to build this thing. Because I wanted to make this my main setup, I really thought that using the tabletop that I had before, the Carbly tabletop from Ikea, was going to be the best option for me. So when I first moved into this place, I obviously didn't do a very good job with cable management. So this time around, I'm gonna do it properly because this is, this is a disaster. So I just finished taking off these little legs. They're the Capita legs from Ikea. Um, I had these as little risers on my Alex drawers just to raise my desk up a little bit. Now that I have the legs off of the Alex drawers, I should be able to get those things out of here for a little bit so I can put my Carlby tabletop down the floor and get the Motion Gray standing desk base screwed into it. I'm laying on the floor right now. I just finished getting an important part of the standing desk on. I'll show it to you. So, this right here is my pull-out keyboard tray. This is the whole reason why I decided to use my own tabletop instead of the one that Motion Gray sent me. So I had to glue and screw some wood onto the bottom of the desk just to help support this a little bit more. And I have these keyboard rails that are kind of going through the desk right now. Which are attached to this thing and then the keyboard, my MIDI keyboard is gonna go on this. And it goes in, potentially all the way. So because of those rails, this is about, as far as I can get the keyboard in, so it still sticks out like that much, whatever. 
The only thing I'm worried about is if it gets in the way while I'm just sitting at the desk. That is a concern for me. Okay, so I'm currently in my basement. Uh, I thought I'd give a quick little update on what I ended up doing with the motion gray tabletop. So I actually turned this into a little arts and crafts desk for my partner and um, they have their sewing machine, some paints. We're using this leg from Ikea and also the Alex drawers from Ikea, which was from my original desk. I just gave them the other drawer because I didn't have space for it anymore. Yeah, I think this is a great addition. So thanks Motion Gray for that. Um, you know, the tabletop's not being used in my setup, but it's at least being used in someone else's setup. And it's a lot better than what we had here before. We had like a folding table here before, so this is way better than what that was. The desk is built. It's working. Um, see, we can go up and down. stuff. So this is my normal standing height. That's what I have my desk at when I'm standing. On here there are four different presets that you can set so that you don't have to just press the arrows up and down each time. You can actually just hit one through four and um, it'll go to your desired height. So right now we're at 96 which is my preferred standing height. If I press one it'll go down to 79, which is my preferred sitting height. And then I put three and four just as the highest it'll go and the lowest it'll go. So three should be the highest it'll go, at least in this room, because I have this light. So to program the height you want, you just press M and then press the number you want. And now if I go back down to this, This should be my standing preset. And this is the highest that it'll go in this room because that light is almost touching the ceiling. So this is what it looks like right now under my desk and it doesn't look nice. That's the hard part about trying to make a music studio into a standing desk because there are just so many cables for so many things that have to be connected. And it's gonna take a lot of work to kind of clean this up. Right now, there are 12 plugs underneath the desk and I've mounted some of the power bricks that are kind of like attached. There's some that are still on the floor, but for the most part, there's a lot of cables I need to clean up. And yeah, so we're gonna to get to that right now. This six foot long cable raceway, which was inspired by Edward Lee's video on his standing desk. It was actually super, super helpful when it comes to cable management. The cable raceway allows you to tuck in the cables at a certain point and pull it out at another point, really just to shove everything in. I got the three inch version because I knew I was gonna have a lot of thicker cables, especially with the speaker cables, the microphone cables, everything like that. Um, I needed a little bit more space. Okay, I don't even know how long it's been, at least an hour, but the cable management is done for the most part, at least. I'll put this bed way up to the tallest height, just to make this easier to show. Bam, that looks a lot better. There's still a couple cables over here which I'm gonna deal with. If we pretend that black cord isn't hanging down, we tidy the rest of those up a bit. It's gonna look super slick. So we've got this cable raceway thing, which is holding all of the cables. And then behind that, there is a power strip. There's a USB hub over there. So yeah, finally, uh, that's basically the desk setup. Let's get into the review. As a music producer, I didn't even know if it was possible to use a standing desk with all of the gear that I have to have. As you can see behind me, 
there's a lot of things on this desk because I need a lot of tools really close by so that when I'm producing music, I can just work really quickly. Usually you'll see standing desk setups that are more minimal and don't have a lot of cables, don't have a lot of items on top. And so I was really hesitant to get a standing desk. Luckily, since Motion Gray sent this to me, I'm able to check it out and see if it actually works for a music producer. So first of all, let's talk about the specs of this desk. So the Motion Gray standing desk can go from as low as 25 inches to as high as 50 inches with just the press of a button. Now these legs can go anywhere between 39 inches at the shortest and 73 inches at the longest, which mine is pretty much at the edge. This tabletop is around 73 inches and I have about an inch of space on either side and that's uh, what they recommend to make sure that it's stable enough. The legs come in either white or black and you can choose from different tabletops like black wood grain or a white marble. Honestly, these legs are super sturdy, super hefty. The desktop itself can hold up to 200 pounds and I certainly put it to the test with all of the stuff on here. Before the desk arrived, I actually calculated out a bit how much my setup was gonna weigh. I think it ended up being, what, like, what is that? It's around 180 pounds that are just on this alone with my setup and everything that's on it. But it's able to go up and down really easily with all of this heavy gear on it. Now the three segment legs allow the desk to be more stable and gives more variability when it comes to different heights. That means that there's no wobble when you're typing, when you're playing piano, finger drumming, anything. That's the kind of stuff that I would do with the desk. And yeah, it's very, very sturdy, especially at its standing height. When you raise or lower the desk, it'll go at a speed of 1.5 inches per second which looks something like this. It's pretty fast and that's thanks to the German manufacturer dual electric motors from Bosch. These motors are located in each of the legs and are super smooth and very energy efficient. Now for myself, I wouldn't say that it's very quiet, maybe because it's more heavy duty, that's why it's a little bit louder. The desk itself comes with a three year warranty with the option to upgrade to an eight year extended warranty and it's designed in Canada. Now the frame of the desk sits in the center between the legs, opposed to some other standing desks that have the support frame more to the back of the desk. Now, this was a little bit of an issue for me personally, but that's just because of my whole keyboard situation that I had going on beforehand. So if you're planning this desk out from scratch, then it's definitely not an issue. It actually makes it more balanced because you don't have all the weight just being supported on one end. So it makes it very even on both sides. Motion Gray says that this desk takes about 30 minutes to build. Now that wasn't the case for me, but I think that's because of some other reasons. The only thing is there aren't pre-drilled holes on the desktop that comes with it. Or if you're using your own desktop, then there's probably not gonna be pre-drilled holes on that either. This allows for a little bit of flexibility with the placement of the desk, but it would be nice to have pre-drilled holes just so it makes it a little bit easier for people to understand where things go. So now let's talk about my specific desk and what I'm using it for. This desk has a sliding out piano tray. It also has RGB strips around the bottom, which you can see are kind of fallen down. Now on top of my desk, I have a Vivo monitor arm, which is holding up my 28 inch Samsung 4K monitor. Now specifically for this desk setup, I bought these Gator Framework Studio Monitor Stands. That's what my speakers, the Atom T7Vs, are sitting on. These speakers are about 15 pounds each, 16 pounds each, and they hold them really well. I also have the speakers sitting on isoacoustic stands, and I just prefer to have my speakers on stands separately instead of sitting on top of my desk. Having these allows me to have the speakers move along with the desk as well. I have an Ableton Push 2. I have a Shure SM7B microphone, which is on a blue compass arm. Now my MacBook Pro is plugged into a CalDigit TS3+, Plus, which allows me to have my USB hub plugged in, multiple Thunderbolt connections plugged in, as well as my monitor, and it has an SD card reader on the front. On the other side, I have a Universal Audio Aero, which is sitting on top of my desk. And in terms of peripherals, I'm using a Keychron K4, which I upgraded with drop and invert Holy Pandas, as well as some different keycaps. And I lube the switches and put some foam in and stuff like that. I have a video coming out soon on the whole process of modding my first mechanical keyboard. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. So yeah, in terms of peripherals, I'm using the Keychron K4 for my keyboard and the Logitech MX Master 3 for my mouse. Now underneath the desk I have the Arturia Keylab 61 Mark II. 
that's my MIDI keyboard of choice. I also have a GVM800D light, which is mounted to this arm that I use for my key light when I'm streaming, as well as a hair light for when I'm doing this kind of set up. By the way, if you didn't know, I stream on Twitch every once in a while. It's not consistent. But if you want to check it out, you can go to twitch.tv slash castleman, and I hope to see you there. So yeah, that's what I keep on my desk. Overall, I am so happy with the Motion Gray standing desk. It's really great to be able to have the option to stand and sit now while I'm working. This allows me to increase my productivity, reduce my back and neck strain, and burn more calories while I'm working. Thanks again to Motion Gray for sending this desk out to me. I super appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below and help boost this video up in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.